This is really good news. A new device for treating peripheral heart disease was performed at Methodist South right in Whitehaven. This is especially good news for people with bad diets and clogged arteries. St. Luke's Medical Center is now offering a cutting edge treatment that provides relief for patients from peripheral artery disease. Thanks to a breakthrough technology at Nebraska Medicine, surgery for patients is now more effective and less invasive. Yeah, our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to show us what it is and why doctors are calling it a real game changer. Well now, local doctors have a new tool to treat this painful problem by allowing them to truly see it for the first time. The local man is recovering at home after a first of its kind procedure that changed his life and saved his leg. For the first time, we're actually able to see inside the artery and see what we're treating. Being able to see revolutionizes everything rather than trying to work on a two-dimensional image and trying to guess what you're treating. You know, clearing plaque from clogged arteries is a common procedure. It saves lives and it just got easier. This new procedure was just approved by the FDA this month and this is the very first case in the entire state here at Baton Rouge General. This technology no longer need a stent. You can selectively remove the, the uh, disease but leave the normal behind. To save his legs and quality of life, surgeons will send in this new plaque busting catheter called Pantheris. For the first time, there's a small camera on the tip allowing the surgeon to see their progress in real time. Here's how it works. Instead of opening a blocked or diseased artery with a wire mesh tube called a stent, Dr. Muck simply places this tiny catheter or tube through an opening in the hip joint. On the end of it is a tiny cutting device. He can see the artery on this real-time imaging screen. He then uses the cutting device to remove the diseased tissue. It leaves the normal tissue. With this technology, you no longer need a stent. It takes a picture right behind my cutting blade and so I know exactly where I'm cutting, what I've just cut. Pain continued. About a year and a half ago, Schnell was diagnosed with peripheral artery disease, or PAD, a buildup of plaque in the arteries that reduces blood flow to the legs and feet. In July, the pain became too much to bear. Schnell needed surgery. I feel better than I thought I would feel, so, um, you know, thumbs up on everything. I looked down one day in the shower, and my foot was entirely black. Kyle Leibach has type 1 diabetes, complicated by peripheral artery disease. He had an infection in his foot, but the antibiotics couldn't get there. When I was in the office, I did confirm that there was like no blood at all going to my feet. So it was a miracle I had lasted that long. Two months ago, Kyle was actually the first patient to be treated with the new instrument. I went home like an hour later. There was like a very small like a pinhole on my opposite thigh and I was able to be up the next day. It's a new high-tech procedure called lumivascular, recently approved by the FDA. Since the procedure, I'm, I'm fine. I mean, I have a job now where I walk probably five miles a day. Don't bother me at all. Just two weeks after the procedure, Marianne says her leg pain is gone. So the feeling is returning to her toes and she can walk much farther than before. How are you feeling? I'm feeling a lot better, Liz. I'm feeling a lot better. He's barely out of surgery, but already Tim Mills says for the first time in years, his lower leg pain is gone.